So I am going to show you how to use the NPV formula and how to use the IRR formula. If you can use these formulas which I am going to show you now, you can save some time in your exam. So to calculate the NPV, let me take some uh, figures. So year 0, year 1, year 2. So here I am telling 100,000. Here let's take it as 50,000. Here let's take it as 70,000. So here I insert certain cash flows. These are my cash flows. So let me do a normal NPV calculation first. Then we can compare and see for both the methods are we getting the same answer or not. So how we can calculate cash flows into the discounting factor. Let me take it as 10% is equal to the present value. So discounting factor is 1. Let me increase the decimal places for this. For three decimal places. Here 1 divided by 1.1 to the power 1. So here you have to put equals. And here to the power 2. So I have the discounting factors. Now let me calculate the present values. So I am going to copy paste this. Now I can get my NPV. So my NPV is how much? This amount. And here also let me have it for two decimal places. So my NPV is how much? 3305.79. So this is the normal way that you have used to calculate the NPV. Now let me show the formula to calculate the NPV. Let's see whether we are getting the same answer or not. NPV, I will type it here. NPV. Using the formula. So the formula that you have to use equals NPV open brackets. You have to enter the rate. So the rate is how much? In this question, I have used 10%. 10%, comma, what you have to do is select the cash flows from year 1 onwards. Don't select year 0. Again, I am telling, don't select year 0. Select the cash flows from year 1 onwards. So I have two years. I am selecting year 1 and year 2. Close the brackets. Now to calculate the NP, you have to adjust the year 0 cash flow also. No? So here, since it is negative, I am going to add this cell. You know, if it is a negative value, if you again deducted it, it will become a positive one. That's why I added this value since this value I typed as a negative value. So now uh, let's enter the value and see whether you are getting the same answer. Here, see, you are getting the same answer. 3305.79. So this is how you can calculate the NPV using the NPV formula. So let me show the formula again. Equals NPV, then rate, comma, from year 1 onwards you have to select the cash flows. After that only finally you can adjust your year 0's cash flow. So you are getting an, uh, you are getting an NPV of how much? 3305.79 which is equal to our normal technique. Next, I will show you how to calculate the IRR using the formula. IRR using the formula. So the formula is equals IRR open brackets. Okay. Now you have to select the cash flows. Keep in your mind. You have to select what you have to select the cash flows. So I am selecting the cash flows, comma, next what you have to do is you have to guess a rate. So you can guess any reasonable rate, it's up to you. You can guess any reasonable rate. So I am just assuming here it has 15, it's just a guess, close the brackets, enter. So how much is the IRR that I am getting for this question? Let me increase the decimal places. It is 12.32. For these cash flows, my IRR is how much? 12.32.
so you know what is irr means irr is the rate at which your npv becomes zero so let's see whether this rate is correct or not using this rate let me do a npv calculation and see whether i am getting zero npv or not let me do a calculation i'll do it here so here i am going to use the rate which is this one 12.32 rate so let me change the rates here 1 plus this rate to the power 1 this one again 1 plus this rate close the brackets to the power 2 it's point seven nine three. Now here see what's the NPV that you got? 0. So let me do it for this one also. Here I have to change the rate. It's not 10% now. I am going to change it to IRR which is this rate. So enter. Here see I am getting a NPV of how much? I am getting a NPV of 0. That means this IRR formula is 100% correct. You know IRR is the rate at which your NPV becomes 0. So at 12.38, I calculated the NPV. I am getting an NPV of 0. So if you can use these formulas in your exam, you can save lots of time. I have done a comprehensive revision for ACCA Financial Management FM or F9 syllabus for a very reasonable price. You can purchase this revision through the link available in the description. In this revision program, I have covered 120 plus MCQ type questions and 6 constructed questions. For each question, I have given you detailed answers and I have provided some additional learning as well. So I hope this revision program will be useful for you in order to pass your exam. If you like my video, don't forget to like it, share it and make sure to subscribe my channel.